hey guys, what's up? We finally got Moradon. It's finally time. The final Moradon. It only took freaking 10,000 years. You know, when I first came to this dungeon, and you get to this point where you jump off the waterfall, and I'm like, oh my gosh, that's freaking cool. Now you're like, man, we do that on a freaking just quests now in like Zuldazar and Kul Tiran. But back in the day, man, it was cool stuff. And cool beans. Wait, where's our... Where's our tank at? Oh, he's coming. I thought that warrior was our tank. Then I realized, wait. He's not. Man, when I was doing my paladin walk through these guys, in this one, and I got to this point with these hydras, that spit they do is a lot. There's a lot of damage. It's not so bad, you know, when you're a healer, but... Back of the day, it sure was. This is actually a pretty quick dungeon. Um, really, you're just gonna go kill the princess at the end. The beautiful... You'll see, she's quite something to look at. She's quite, um, quite a sight. She's beautiful. And again, it's really surprised they haven't reused her model. Besides Therizane, they kind of reused her Therizane, but even then, it wasn't very similar other than the body body type. Everything else was pretty different. I love Therizane. She might be a big old freaking meanie, you know, M mean, but also, you know, <laughs> a bitch. But uh, I like Therizane. She looks cool too. She's hot. She's hot. Uh oh. Oh god, the dinosaurs. Yeah, you gotta get away from these dinosaurs. They cast out an AoE silence. That's not, not fun. And you can mine these elementals, too. Yeah, so technically it actually counts Celebrus the Cursed as a boss for this one, but normally people avoid it because they just jump off the waterfall, and when you jump off the waterfall, uh, to go all the way back to him, you have to go and fight all your way up, and so it's just like, people just don't even do him ever. He's basically just a, it's like a, a reindeer tree man. Elf. Not even a man, an elf. And then there's another boss that people usually will skip is Rot Grip, because you usually do him right after you kill the princess, who technically is the last boss. So you don't even—he's like an optional boss, another optional boss, and people avoid him. So really, it's only like a two-boss dungeon technically. Four. There used to be a fourth one, actually. Um, I believe there used to be a goblin. I don't know if they removed him or not, but there used to be like another goblin, not. There used to be another one. You can't avoid this guy. Yeah, I'm just gonna... Good try. Good try. Good try. I commend you, good sir. So yes, the first actual boss is coming up, Landslide, right here. For years, the ancient mountain giants known as Landslide, oh, mountain giant, not giants, singular, cultivated brilliant crystal gardens in Moradon, but Therodress enthralled the behemoth when she took up residence there. This once stoic giant now lives only to serve his tyrannical new master, aka 
the princess. You don't even have to really get landslide either. You could really make this a one boss dungeon. But people can't, people usually do do landslide. There he is. He's just like a slightly bigger and whiter version. And now he's gonna, all he really does, yeah, there it is. I was gonna say, all he really does is do this landslide AoE stun, but it doesn't do like any damage. It's like the most useless thing in the world. It does no damage, and all it does is summon these little adds that don't do like any damage at all. It's embarrassing, really. Really, truly, honestly, landslide, honestly, truly, truly. Honestly. There it is again. And they don't even spawn until like after it's done either. So it's they're like pointless. You can like one shot them. It's the most useless move in the world. Fist of Stone, your healing spells have a chance to grant 414 mana. That's actually pretty good now. Oh yeah, you can jump down. Forgot the old shortcut. If you come down here, you can jump down. Uh-oh, I'm going to pull those guys in. There. shortcut well yeah I used to love Moradon this not not the other Moradons but this part of Moradon I can't say I have to say Moradon in general because it is technically one big dungeon but they again they're split up Yeah, like this part right here with the waterfall. First time you ever come here, man, it's like, oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god, look at this. Look at this. But now, you know, we've like defeated Deathwing and gone into the Maelstrom and like Nihilotha and all these freaking places. It's kind of like, yeah, this is cool, I guess. It's still beautiful. Don't get me wrong, especially for... 2004 when this was made, but you know. There she is back there. You guys see her? She's beautiful, isn't she? See her way back there? Princess Theandris getting her fat ass around. Look at her. Oh, she's cool. Mm. Break me off a piece of that Kit Kat bar. Yes, please. Yes, please. Look at her girl. Look at her go. She's got a little bikini top on. I love it. I freaking love it. Get it, queen. Get it, queen. You might notice the antlers, too, pointing out over there. Those are... Because I think this is the grave for... Um, What's his face? I'm sure it'll tell us. The Earth Elemental Theodress, Therizane, the Stone Mother's sole daughter. Oh, it, oh, that's why. Because it's Therizane's daughter. I actually didn't know that. Huh. Uh, resides in Moradon's inner sanctum. Influenced by the old gods, the princess transformed her home into a den of corruption and suffering. 
Some believe that her foul powers are tied to the spirit of her dead lover, Zyder. If so, liberating the Fallen Keeper of the Grove might be the only hope of cleansing Moradon. Huh, I didn't know that. That's why they used the same model. I did not know this was Therizane's daughter, actually. And she's corrupted by the old gods, and then that's her lover, Zader. Some weird earth rock woman making love to a giant tree man. Tree deer. Interesting. <laughs> What does she do? She does like a knockback. Yeah, there it is. She does this thing where she'll knock you back if you're not careful. It does actually quite a bit of damage. Not gonna lie. And then she fears after it. Yeah. Yeah, she is quite obnoxious to face. But yeah, she's a stun queen. If they want to call her a queen of anything or a princess of anything. She's the princess of stuns. Gosh, here it comes. Here comes the damage. Gotta prepare. No! Screw you, princess! Booyah. It's done. The princess is... What? Oh my god. Blade of Eternal Darkness. Epic. Oh, heck yeah, dude. That's a freaking rare drop, too. Like, not just rare, like rare, rare. Like, that's something people try to farm back in the Dizay. Still try to farm it now because if you're like a completionist trying to get all the gear. Yeah, and they're not going to get rot, rot Grip. Rumor has that Rot Grip dwelled in Mordon's subterranean runs for millennia. Oh, he's down there. He's a giant, gigantic crocolist. If you come over here, you can actually kind of see him. If you come over here and look down in the water. See him down there? He's a gigantic alligator. The giant... I think he might be the biggest... Like, if we're talking alligators... Like, he might be the biggest alligator in the game. I believe. So, he's got that going for him, for, for him still, which is nice. All right, guys. Yes. More done. Done. Now we just have Blackrock stuff to do. That's it. And then... What are the... only Encourage is available at Vanilla... Both the molten core and um, the black rock one, whatever it is. Are those the only three raids in vanilla? I think there are, because they got uh, they moved Zul Grub. Yeah, I am. We're already there. Anyways, guys, until then, peace off. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you liked the video, leave a like. And make sure to share it around the internet and worldwide. You can check out my Patreon links in the description and on the screen now. And don't forget to come by our Discord and say hello to everybody. And last but not least, make sure to follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Peace out.